it's John here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video and a random video on how to uninstall things. That's right dudes, today we're going to be showing you guys how to uninstall either Worlds or Forge from your Minecraft save folder or just directly from Minecraft. There are two ways to do this. One, you can do it directly from this launcher. You can see I got the launcher opened up right here. This is the new launcher. If you guys don't have this yet, that means uh, your Minecraft hasn't updated yet. So this happens when your your computer is connected to the internet and then as soon as you load this it automatically updates every single time uh, if it's not at this version for whatever reason you may want to connect to the internet and see if there's an update for minecraft at the very top here you're going to see play and then installations i'm going to click on installations and you're going to see some of the versions have like this version right here it's got forge if i scroll over this it'll give me a play option then it'll also give me these three buttons on the side if i click the three buttons it'll give me this edit duplicate or delete so if i want to delete this snapshot for whatever right so i can click delete and it'll ask me are you sure you want to delete it and i'll say delete and that's gone kind of and i'll show you why i say kind of in just a minute however there are other way other things that pop up that don't let you do that sometimes doesn't give me the option to uh to delete it'll give me this edit or duplicate option which i only get on the things that are like the latest snapshot or latest release it doesn't really give me that uh, doesn't not give me that option on the other versions however some of you do do that's out there saying that it only gives you the edit and duplicate well there is a way around this and i'll show you guys how to do that in just a second another thing people are asking is how do you um, delete and save worlds uh you can simply click on uh play and then i can show you guys how to delete worlds directly but you want to i would believe that unless you're making a whole lot of worlds that don't have anything in them like for just randomness and then you play for a little bit and you just want to get rid of them then you can delete them this way otherwise i suggest doing another method and that's uh backing up your worlds before you remove them from minecraft okay so i'm in the latest version of minecraft 1.14.4 but it'll give me the option to play all my worlds right so let me open this up if i click on single player okay, so it'll show me all the worlds and if you see here i have a lot of trash in here a lot of these are tests and stuff i ran in between when i was doing the snapshot reviews and I want to remove some of them. So say I want to click on this one. I could select it and I can simply say delete, right? So delete world. Are you sure you want to delete this world? Sure. I'm going to delete it. It's gone. It's gone forever. It's no longer existing in my freaking in my uh, inventory of worlds to play. However, there's a better way to do this because I don't know which worlds um, I want to delete. Maybe I want to back them all up and start from scratch because there are so many in here that I don't want all of these uh to select from and maybe i only want a couple of them there's a way to do this if i click on cancel here quick game if i go into my my minecraft folder and i do that on a pc by hitting the windows key a windows pc by hitting the windows key and r on a mac you're going to hit command shift and then g however no windows can be open on your computer on either one of these because the command is meant for just the desktop to be open so if you have something else open minimize it and click on the desktop first just by doing this let me close this out real quick just by literally selecting the desktop by one clicking and then hitting the on on a, a windows pc i'm hitting uh, windows r on a mac you're going to hit command shift G and I'll put that in the description section below where you can guys can, can grab that then on a, on a PC I'm going to put this string in on a Windows PC it's this this exact string I'm going to put this exact string also in the description section below that way you can copy and paste it right into this open window and it'll take you directly to the Minecraft window for the for uh, for a Mac it's an, it's a little bit different I'll also put that link or that uh that string down there, you can copy and paste that into the, the find folder for a for a Mac. All right, so now we're in our Minecraft folder. There are two Minecraft folders. This is the one you need in order to access all the file types and everything having to do with the game. The first one I'll show you guys is game saves. And game saves is literally under the, the folder called saves. Every Minecraft folder has this, this folder called saves. And these are all the worlds I have in my saves folder i'm going to go ahead and view this by most recent by by details and recently modified because i want to leave some of these in here all right so i want to what i'm going to do is i don't want to delete these i'm going to put them in a separate folder just so i don't have so many that pop up in my option to play i'm going to on my desktop i'm going to right click and i'm going to create new folder 
new folder and I'm going to call it uh, MC saves. You can call it whatever you want. I call it Minecraft saves or MC saves, but I already have one of those. It's right here. So I'm going to just, I'm going to remove that one, but I already have an MC saves folder on my desktop. This is where I keep all my saved worlds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Minecraft folder and I'm going to remove all the ones I don't want to populate anymore. So I'm going to go from test two all the way down to the bottom here. And there are a lot of them uh, from the last two years almost. No, it's just over two years of gameplay. I'm going to move those all over into this saves folder. That way, if there's a game that I want to go back to and play from previous, I can pull it from here. All right. So now we only have, I should only have one, two, three uh, things that pop up into my, my saves. I do have a, a few other ones that are just there that I'm going to use later on, but that, that's all I'm going to have. So I should only have a few that, that'll uh, populate uh, in my Minecraft. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close this window. We're going to close this window. I'm going to go ahead and launch Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys. So all my saved worlds are now, unless you want to delete them, you can just like right click and delete them all of them if you wanted to get rid of them. But once you delete them, they're gone for good. And that's why I like to back my stuff up. That way, if there's a world I want to play, the file sizes are so small that it doesn't make sense for me just to get rid of them. So I want to save them for a future date. I don't know if that's hoarding on a digital sense. I don't know. Call me a hoarder, whatever. Hashtag John's a hoarder. We can go to single player and there you go. Uh, let's go, let's go and don't die. These are the three worlds I wanted to leave in there and the three worlds that we have uh, remaining. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to close this. So there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the versions of uh, Forge that you may have installed that you don't want any longer. There are people that just don't want Forge on their system anymore, and that's fine, and you want to get rid of it. Or you may have an older version of Forge of like 1.12 uh, versions prior that you want to get rid of, and you want to only run the newest one. You don't want to have so many versions of Forge instances running on your computer, and that makes perfect sense to me. And like I said, you could delete it the way I showed you before, or you can do the same thing. I'm going to hit the Windows R button again on a on a, a Mac. It's Command Shift G, and we're going to go into our very bottom folder, and I'm going to open up Versions right there. Open, open. Okay, so here's all the instances I have installed on my computer. Now the problem with all these being installed is that it becomes really difficult to scroll through and find the ones I want. So like say I want to get rid of these instances of just snapshots, right? I just want to delete these snapshots. I'm going to delete all of these. I'm going to go from 1911 or what is it? 1902, 1902A all the way up to 14.4 pre, uh, pre seven. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete those. And just like that, I lost all those versions. And this is what I mean by deleting versions of, of Forge that you may have multiple instances of. If you look at this right here, if you look at my window, I have every updated version of Forge uh, since it started coming out for 1.12. So I got 1.12 even, but there's two versions of that plus Optifine. And then I have for 1.12.2, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six versions of that. I only want the latest one. And the latest one is actually 1.8.3, uh, sorry, 28.38, which is this one right here. So I'm going to delete this one through this one. And I'm going to literally select them and I'm going to click the delete key. And what it's doing is it's moving it over to the trash can. So if you accidentally delete it at this point, go, oh crap, I deleted the wrong one. You can hit control Z and it'll put them back. Okay. Um, so now that just that's edit undo. That's what control Z is. So now I'm going to go ahead. If you did another step after that, though, it won't really uh, do anything. So or you can go into the trash can and just drag them out. That's also a possibility. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete those. I'm only going to leave the latest version of 1.12.2 and I'm going to delete a few other ones here as well. I really don't want any more. And there we go. It looks a lot cleaner now. It's a little more streamlined. Um, I do run a lot of these versions, so I'm, I'm going to leave a lot of them in place. I'm not going to delete them at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now when I launch, now I'm going to delete, I'm oh, sorry, now I'm going to delete my recycle bins, my trash can, right? I'm going to open my trash can. You're going to see all the files I deleted. All right, here. And I'm going to say empty recycle bin. Now, first, before you do that, you want to make sure you didn't delete something on accident because once it's gone, it's gone. You're going to have to reinstall that version of Forge if you want to. Um, if it's a map, it's going to be gone for good. Like I have a bunch of mods in here too that I need to get rid of. But if it's a map that you're getting rid of, that map is going to be gone 
indefinitely. So you want to make sure you're really careful of you're not hitting empty recycle bin before you double check that it's not the wrong map you are deleting. I'm gonna, I can't say stress this enough. Once I click empty recycle bin, they're gone. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys that the instance, if I go to installations now, I have very few to choose from. And that's perfect. Because now when I click the drop down, I don't have a giant scroll of items to pick from. And that makes it a lot better. It makes it a lot easier for me to, to play Minecraft. And I've been meaning to do this for a while. And I figured I would turn it into a video because I had, I literally had like five questions today on how do you delete this version of Forge? So there you go. I could delete versions of Forge pretty easily. One way it does it temporarily. It kind of just removes it from Minecraft directly. The other way it removes it from your computer entirely. There you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did and you guys learned something new today, give me a big fat thumbs up down below. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button, it does help the channel out a great deal. And while you're at it, if you click the little bell, click that dang bell, it turns on notifications and it lets you dudes and dudettes know when we upload our videos. And until next time, guys, see ya.